India spent years trying to make its mark in the global space race and exploring the galaxy. In 2022, ISRO launched Chandrayaan-2 to study lunar geology and the distribution of lunar water. And soon after that, in 2023, ISRO launched Chandrayaan-3, which landed on the southern polar region of the moon. And India made history and did something that no other country was able to do. Now, I would like to take you back in time to a very interesting story of India's first rocket launch. Did you know that India's first rocket launch was from a church? Let me tell you this story from the book Ignited Minds by APJ Abdul Kalam. The 1960s was a time when most of the countries including the United States of America and the USSR were gearing up for the space race. Both Dr. Homi Baba and Professor Vikram Sarabhai were looking for a site to establish a space research station in the equatorial region. These two great scientists visited a number of places. Tumba, a place in Trivandrum, Kerala, was selected by the scientific community for space research as it was near the equatorial region. And it was the perfect spot ISRO needed to launch India's first rocket. Tumba in Kerala had no significance on the map of India. It was just like any other fishing hamlet on the western coast of India, stacked with boats and thatched huts amidst coconut plantations. And thousands of fishermen folk lived in that area. Here stood a magnificent ancient Roman Catholic church dedicated to Saint Mary Magdalene. This church could trace back to the time of St. Francis Xavier. There was also a bishop's house adjacent to it. Professor Vikram Sarabhai met with many politicians and bureaucrats to get a place for the work of space science research. However, they were asked to meet the Bishop of Trivandrum, His Excellency, Rector Reverend Dr. Peter Bernard Pereira. It was a Saturday when Dr. Sarabhai and his fellow scientists, including Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, went to Tumba to talk to the then Bishop of Trivandrum, who lived in the house adjacent to the church. They showed their interest in acquiring the church and the nearby land for their first rocket launch. Hearing this, the Bishop smiled and asked them to meet him the next day in the morning Sunday Mass. During the Mass, the Bishop told the congregation, My children, I have a famous scientist with me who wants our church and the place I live for the work of space science research. Dear children, science seeks truth by reasoning. In one way, science and spiritualism seek the same divine blessings for doing good for the people. My children, can we give God's abode for a scientific mission? As Dr. Abdul Kalam narrates, there was a silence. And then there was a chorus of Amen from the congregation and the whole church reverberated. This big event took place in the year 1962. The bishop not only agreed to hand over the church, but also agreed to talk to its members and explain to them the importance of space science. His Excellency Rector Reverend Dr. Peter Bernard Pereira, the Bishop of Trivandrum, took the noble decision to dedicate the church in recognition of the national goal for the establishment of the Indian Space Research Organization at Tumba. So with the church as the control room, the bishop's room as the office, the cow sheds were used as storage houses and laboratories. With this, ISRO started its journey. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam narrates, That was the church where I had my design center, started rocket assembly, design of filament binding machines for FPP products, and the bishop's house was a scientist's place. Later, the Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station led to the establishment of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and multiple space centers throughout the country. Undeterred by the little funding and few facilities, a handful of young enthusiastic Indian scientists began assembling their first rocket. Back then, even rocket parts and payloads 
were transported by bullock carts and bicycles to the launch pad. It was at these unassuming settings that India staged its first rocket launch. On November 21st, 1963, a small rocket took off from Tumba on the outskirts of Tiruvananthapuram, announcing the birth of the modern space age in India. The village soon came to be known as Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launch Station and later became Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. In this way, St. Mary Magdalene Church and its then bishop, Rev. Peter Bernard Pereira, plays an important role in India's space history. In the year 1985, the majestic church was converted into the Vikram Sarabhai Space Museum which is now visited by over thousands of people every month. The Space Museum showcases the history and achievements of the Indian space program. You can still visit the once magnificent St. Mary Magdalene Church and witness the humbling journey that led to this historic moment. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.